Hi guys, it's Matt here from Maxon UK and in this tutorial we're going to be looking at how to model a bottle. Now, it's a fairly straightforward process, but one that people ask, um, you know, a few times. So, here's a quick tutorial on how to do it. So, one of the first things I'm going to do is make sure that my project spacing uh, is in millimeters, okay, just because it becomes easier to model things in and we know that we want to try and make this sort of size accurate and then I am going to use my pen tool. I'm then going to use my front view here and I can see that my grid spacing is one centimeter so in between each one of these is one centimeter and that's what I'm going to use to just help myself. So eventually I'm going to use a lathe nerbs to do this because it um, makes the most sense because it's going to go 360 degrees so I'm going to start by making um, the profile of the bottle that I want to create. So you start at the very center, but I can adjust that a little bit later, and I'm just going to count one, two, okay, because that's where I want it to stop. And then I'm going to click and hold to allow myself to create a curved um, edge, which will give me the sort of like the curvature of the bottle. And then I can choose the height of my bottle. So something along there. Although that's only nine centimeters tall, that's not going to be particularly tall, is it? So I might just uh, move that up there, and then I shall go back to my pen tool, and then let's create ourselves a little bit of a curvature there to allow that bottle to go in, and there, allowing that curve to follow up there which is cool let's have a zoom in there now I'm just going to create myself a little bit of the lip and there we go there we go that gives me the top of the bottle now I can follow that all the way along uh, and go back the other way or I think I'm going to make life easy and make sure that it fits properly and I'm going to cheat so I'm going to copy and paste this spline so I've got a second one and then I'm going to shrink it slightly and then I'm going to move it up okay and what that can do is start to give me the outline without having to worry that things are totally out of shape. So that line carries on. And if I just go to some of these points up here, the ones that I won't need, and I can just pull those out, pull that up, okay? And I can select the two of these, right click and connect and delete. And let's just see whether or not those two are joined, which they're not. So what I can do is just move that across and then I can join that segment and then I might delete one of the points that I don't need. I'm just going to select those two and then I'm going to zero out that scale so that they are a level. And there we go, we've got our little bottle outline. I might just move those two up and then right click soft interpolation which will give me those handles and then I can use those handles to just arc that bottom just a bit. I'm just going to select both of them so that I can see the arc from one to the other. There you go. And there we go. We have our bottle outline. Not too bad at all. And then with my bottle outline selected, actually I'm just going to make sure that those two points are at zero, or oh, near enough. So I'm just going to scale them so that they are zero, 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 and then zero that out to know that they are definitely on the Y axis. And then going up to my nibs, holding down Alt, pressing lathe, so that it puts the spline directly into the lathe object. Press F1 to go back to my 3D, and there we have it. We have our bottle in no time at all. Okay, I hope that was a useful little tutorial for you, and I shall catch you in the next video where we shall look at texturing it.